So I thought I'd just put this little video together for you, just to give you a little run through of how I achieved some of the shots for a recent little music video that I did, because they was fairly easy and straightforward to be honest, but I think looked pretty effective. So they might come in handy for you. If they do, please do think about liking and subscribing and all that, that'd be really nice. Um, anyway, on with the vid. Starting off with this first shot of Dow, which as you can see is being filmed in my highly professional studio, AKA the garage. I've literally just got him sat next to a softbox, which is being powered by the Colbor CL60 Lite at 25%. I kept pushing for confidence and passion. I then bought the footage into Premiere, made a few little lumetri color tweaks, masked Dow out from the softbox, just take care when you're doing this remember to when you're filming it make sure you've got a little bit of space down this bottom left and bottom right hand side of the talent so that you've got room to mask him out and he's not he's not basically overlapping the light and then added a white background and then finally added the the red effect if you like just with the tint effect so i just mapped the black to black and matched the white to red or the ready orange or you can change that to whatever color you want moving on to the second shot which i annoyingly don't have any bts for i will instead try and just at least set the scene it's just basically a row of garages fairly near where i live which i have used before in a few other videos i shot this entire clip on the sigma 16 mil and we basically used a combination of three lights. I had a red RGB tube light in the back of the car. I had a red RGB tube light wedged in the sun visor. And then we also, to the exterior of the car, we had the new Zion M20C RGB light set to a teal color. And that was facing towards the garage doors. I'll leave a link to all the lights I'm using down in the description. This is how the footage looked straight out the camera and then this is how it looked after I'd had a little fiddle around and graded it. Whilst we had all these lights set up, I then just slapped on the Sigma 56mm and did a bit of a handheld take of Dow doing the song all the way through from start to finish again. For the next shot, we're back in the garage again, only this time I'm busting out my grey backdrop. I always remember seeing a video once where they said, get a grey backdrop because you can overexpose it and make it appear white. Or if you move your subject further away from it and feather the light away, you can basically turn it into a black background. So they're fairly versatile. That's why I opted for a grey one. In this setup, I'm firing my Colbor 60 watt light at 100% into that grey backdrop. I'm also using one of my RGB tube lights set to 100% 5600 Kelvin. And that's boomed out, sitting above Dow. So we're getting a nice flattering butterfly style lighting. I worked so hard for this, I'm too old, but the love's getting hard to shift. When I was 20, I said that I'll be doing this shit until I'm 30. Now I'm 37 and I'm first. I'm going to clump all these TV shots together because they all basically follow the same concept. Essentially, all I did was take this old TV out that I'd bought off Facebook Marketplace to a few different locations and I just shot it for the duration of the song. Or saying that, I was actually filming at 50 frames a second, so I shot for approximately half of the song, just so that then I can interpret that footage back as 25 frames a second, and I end up with a clip that's the full length of the song. It just saved me from looking like so much of an oddball filming a TV out in a field for four minutes. I then brought that footage into Premiere, where I applied a night for day colour grade, brought up the exposure of the TV a little bit, then cut out a mask around the actual monitor of the TV so that I could reveal the footage underneath, which had a few various effects applied to it. These are just VHS CRT type effects, which you'll find plenty of tutorials for on YouTube. And as a final little touch, I just added a little kind of radial circle here of red that was slightly flickering, had a strobe effect on, just to try and sell the effect a bit more. And that was about it. Many times I gotta tell them I've lost count. You'll never see me in a whip at the top down. And then finally, to get this shot of Dow in the back seat of the car, I used the RGB lights again. I had one of them 
I was using with the grid that they come with, I'd definitely say, like, don't cheap out and get the one without these grids. These come in really useful for directing the light and keeping a, a narrower sort of field of light, if you like. Um, so I used that and I had that set to, I believe, 2700 Kelvin to try and kind of mimic, you know, the same kind of color temperature you'd get from street lights. I had the light screwed onto a monopod. And then Dale was just kind of holding that himself, kind of against like the, the central pillar of the car, like the seat posty bit, you know, the bit I mean, like in between the doors kind of thing. So he was holding that. And then all we did was prop another one of the RGB lights behind Dale on the parcel shelf that was set to more of the tealy colour, just to give us that nice colour contrast of that sort of teal and orange look. If you're still there, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully that's come in useful. Even if you've like pulled apart a couple of little tips and tricks from this video, then I guess it's done its job. One thing I will say is that I am loving these RGB tube lights. I'm not, this, this isn't sponsored or anything. I've just seen a few people using them. They're only kind of cheapy ones. I think to be honest, they're the kind of ones that are, are released in quite a few different brand names. I'll leave a link to these ones in the description below. But yeah, I'm gonna have a little play around with a little photo shoot with these as well. I think I'm gonna be able to get some pretty cool creative effects with them. And yeah, for the price they cost, I just feel like they're quite a lot of fun and I think they've got quite a lot of uses. So I keep looking back because I'm using one at the back here and I'm actually using one to light me at the moment. I'm just sort of testing it out to see how it comes out. Um, but yeah, waffling a bit now. Anyway, I'm gonna shoot. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.